Um, I know people who uh, who, um, who have Bitcoin. I don't. Um, but, um, I, I, you know, anything that operates outside the system is to be welcomed. Uh, I just say that people have to be careful that what appears, appears to be outside the system is not absorbed into it. Um, because, you know, what the plan has always been is for a one world digital currency. That's been the plan all along. It was in my books in 1993 that that yeah. was the plan. Uh, and um, so um, I just say, you know, be careful that this whole Bitcoin situation doesn't get absorbed into the system. But, um, you know, people have to make their own choices on those things. It's almost funny, you know, for me, you know, it's not quite funny because of the implications, but it almost is to see my my books appearing on the national news. You know what I mean? (laughs) In terms of uh, things that were in them decades ago becoming real. But like I said earlier, it's because that's been the plan all along. And if you uncover that and nothing stops it, then it's going to happen. And uh, the, the, the challenge now is to stop cooperating with the system and find other ways of, um, of interacting within communities um, so that we are withdrawing as much as we can from dependency on the system. And, you know, one of the things that's um, happened, and it's all been calculated and planned, is what we call globalization. Globalization is the centralization of global power in every area of our lives. It's the cult's agenda made manifest as globalization. And what that has done is to hijack supply and production in very much fewer places even outside the country, often outside the country. So the country is now dependent on production in countries it has no control over. This is, again, China is the classic example. And, you know, if you have a supply chain, you have a supply chain problem. Okay, so tell me your supply chain. Well, it starts out in China, and then it goes on a boat, and then it goes to America, and and then it goes here, and then it goes there. But if you produce locally, not least food, and sell locally, your supply chain is tiny. And the things that can go wrong with it are very, very few, and they can be sorted very quickly. Whereas a long supply chain, globalization, is the very opposite. Long supply chains equal dependency. Short supply chains equal control by the community and and these are the sort of things that i think people need to look at creating in communities the ability to produce food for themselves and not be dependent on some far-off country or some far-off state to do it for them 